Welcome to Life Words Day by Day, where we are discussing the spiritual gifts that Paul talks about in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Then one of the gifts that he mentions is a word or utterance of knowledge, indicating that this gift is a speaking gift, just like the utterance of wisdom. There seems to be great overlap between these two gifts in that the gifts of wisdom and knowledge have to do with the understanding of God's work in the world and now more particularly in the person of Jesus Christ. Wisdom and knowledge are oftentimes paired together in the Bible. So for instance, Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs chapter 2 verse 6, For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17, I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him, having the eyes of your hearts enlightened. So wisdom and knowledge seem to be used interchangeably in the Old Testament, but in the New Testament, Knowledge seems to be the ability to draw lines between the Old Testament Messiah and the revelation of Jesus Christ, the understanding of the love of Christ for us and the grace of God towards us. It also has to do with the plan of God and the mission of God with us. So the best that I can tell, knowledge precedes wisdom. In order to apply the gospel in wise ways, we have to know Christ and his work. So this gift of knowledge does not go beyond divine inspired revelation, but is a deeper and greater understanding of it, and it is meant to be shared with the church. Once again, not to fill heads, but to deepen hearts. People are trying to make sense of this world, and even when a person becomes a believer, they're still trying to make sense of the world and of their life and how their faith intersects with what is going on in the world. People with the utterance of knowledge have the ability to put the pieces together. Today when you pray, please pray for Elvis Garcia and his family, our missionaries in Arkansas. And also remember the Ndande Hamba LifeWord broadcast that's heard in Tanzania.